Aquarius and welcome to September. This is Gwendolyn. Welcome back to the channel or if it's your first time here, welcome. This video is going to be a monthly terrascope for Aquarius for September and I'm just going to shuffle the cards here a little bit. Um, we're out of eclipse season Aquarius. How did that feel for you? Did it feel unbalanced or did it feel like you got some more freedom? Did it feel like you freed, freed up some extra space or maybe got some new opportunities? Does it feel like things are moving forward again now that some of the planets are going back direct? We had <clears throat> five planets, excuse me, um, in retrograde motion over the summer with the eclipse season. Oh my gosh. So things from the past might have surfaced. There were big clearing outs that were happening. Um, just going over things from the past, you know, kind of like clearing out the corners or the clutter that was the dust in the corners. Um, and now, you know, it's back to school, back to work, back to, back to the good stuff and back to forward motion, really. So I'm just doing some readings here. Um, I'm going to go back to the normal spread, speaking of going back, that I do often. And let's just see what's coming up for you, Aquarius. World in reverse. Okay, so there's an ending that is happening naturally, but you may have some resistance against it. That's okay. Some fear, doubt, or resistance against letting that ending come. Um, <clears throat> it may have to do with an earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I'm seeing that you are being liberated and elevated to the next level, whether you like it or not. There was a chapter that closed and or a chapter that completed. And, you know, this this wreath of laurels is all about success and victory. It's about graduating and feeling supported. It's graduating to the next cycle, the next chapter. So it could be that you wrap something up <clears throat> in order to allow in a earth sign person, but I'm kind of seeing something completed with an earth sign person. And now you're looking to the future and you're maybe not so sure about what the future holds. This is three of wands, envisioning, creative visualization. What do I want to create? What do I want to build? What do I want to allow in? Three is very creative energy. In the reverse though, it's worrying, anxiety. Oh my gosh, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm drawing to myself. I don't know what's going to happen. It's fear of the unknown. So I'm going to encourage you to see it this way and be the powerful creator that you are, Aquarius, by envisioning what it is that you would like to create. Um, there's a wonderful book, in fact, called Creative Visualization by Shakti Gawain. Really great book. Um, and it looks like it looks like things may be moving slowly. That's okay. If there's something that um, is not approaching completion or something that feels like it's not happening at the pace that you would like it to happen, that's okay. Maybe it's time to slow down and think about what it is you'd like to draw to you, Aquarius. I mean, I'm seeing these are the rods of passion, desire. You know, this could be Cupid's arrows of love coming towards you and you saying, you know what, I just don't know what I want yet. I don't know what I want it to look like. I'm not sure. I'm still visualizing that. I'm still creating that in my mind. So maybe it's okay if it goes slowly. You know, maybe if something wrapped up with an earth sign person, maybe you just need some time to um, envision what it is you'd like to draw to you. And it could be it could be that there's no communication. That's sometimes what eight of wands in reverse can mean or a delay in communication. But I kind of think that it's all pointing towards you, Aquarius, and what you want. So you may just need to revamp and communicate with yourself about what you want. Write it down. Um, that's, that's another practice that can bring the uh, upright energies of this card in, is saying what you want and writing down what you want. Getting really clear about what you want to draw to yourself. What else is coming up for you, Aquarius? Ooh, another earth sign. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're in the reverse. So sometimes this means being foolhardy, being stubborn, being um, not someone who's not willing to apologize, an offer that isn't given maybe by an earth sign. Um, there could be a loss. 
that looks like it might be a financial loss or feels like you lost something that's valuable. But this is really always a card of focus. It's a card of change with the number five, but it's also a card of focus. So is your focus on feeling victimized and hurt or is your focus on the healing energy of the spiritual realm that is always abundant and available to you, Aquarius? Especially if that loss has something to do with an earth sign person. I'm seeing this sort of these round shapes and they're cycles that are completing, but your ability to receive new things in will be in direct proportion to your ease of letting old things go, letting old chapters uh, complete and renew so that you can feel free and as a powerful creator. And guess what comes next? Two of Cups. So what I'm seeing, the story that I'm seeing here, Aquarius, is that you may need to let go of an old relationship, potentially with an earth sign, um, to allow a new one in. I'm seeing a loss here, but I'm also seeing it's followed. As you focus on the spiritual reality, that there are many partners that you can do well with, it, a new partnership comes in. Or if you're in a, in a relationship currently, this is like a new chapter, a new, a new infatuation, rediscovering each other is actually what I'm getting with this. So this is either potential for new partnership coming in after a loss, again, potentially with an earth sign, or someone who has that archetype of being grounded, but maybe, you know, on the low side could be stick in the mud. Um, but look at what's coming in Aquarius. I love this for you. I love it for September. What else is coming in? Devil in reverse. You might be feeling set free from something. Devil is when we believe in things that are not true, when the stories we tell ourselves do not match reality, when we feel bound to something, or when we give our control over to something else, like addictions, like um, beliefs that don't serve us, like thing, like fear, anything that keeps us at a loss and we give our power away to it, that's devil energy. So when it's in the reverse, it's liberation. It is being in control of our feelings and emotions and choices, our free will. We're not giving up our free will. It's, it's love that is freely given and freely received. It's coming out of feeling obsessed or bonded to someone or in bondage with someone or stuck. You know, it's I really love that you're getting this sort of liberation. What may have felt like a loss, it's funny how this circle too echoes this one. What may have been a loss may actually be liberating for you and allowing you to see the reality, you know, to acknowledge reality and let something really real in. So I'm actually liking this devil energy. I'm moving this because of the glare. There's a little glare from the lamp. Um, I'm actually really liking this devil in reverse energy for the right next to this two of cups. It's saying it's not going to be about bondage. It's not just going to be about, um, it's not just going to be about lust. It's not going to be fantasy. It's real. It's really real. Aquarius. I love it. I, I, I really see for some of you, it's deepening your connection and getting rid of any false, false impressions of one another. You know, any ways of seeing each other that are not true. It's clearing that away. Really like it. And it could be after you go through something together. You know, maybe there was someone that, if you are in a relationship, maybe there was someone who was a con artist. You know, this is, in the upright, this is the salesperson. And in in the reverse, I sometimes look at it as like the used car salesman. They sometimes get a bad rap, but someone who is dishonest or ran away with the money. Is, is greedy or something like that and it felt like a loss but maybe there's a relationship that grows stronger because of that see what else is coming up two of coins choosing about your money choosing between resources find trying to find balance and finding balance through humor and flexibility two of coins is interesting because he usually stands on one leg and he's the juggler so you may be juggling between two different options of something do I want to buy this or do I want to buy that you know do I want do I want to go this way or that way do I want to you know talk to this person or talk to that person um and the way he stays balanced even though he's on one foot is by being flexible and moving with the current 
you know, we always see a ship on the water in the back here, and it's usually as the tides rise and lower, he's able to handle it. He's able to manage changing circumstances that are changing around him, and therefore, you know, juggles all the different things that are thrown at him, and does it with a sense of fun and ease. So that's what's coming up for you there towards the end of the month. Maybe a choice or just flexibility, handling things with humor. You've got some some interesting two energy here. So you might be you might be choosing between partners, or you might be um, trying to decide if you want to go further into something or back away from something. There's a lot of possibilities where you're just considering two options here. Oh, ten of coins. Love this. Lots of partnership energy. Two of coins. Ten of coins. Two of cups. This is about creating something that's stable and secure. So you might be choosing with your partner where you want to live. Do you want to move in with them or stay in your own in your own place? Do you want to get married or do you want to stay single? You know, Ten of Coins is a really stable, secure, domestic card. It's returns on investment. It's a big pile of money. It's windfall. It's unexpected income. It's inheritance. And it usually represents a domestic partnership that's very stable and very secure. It represents the family. So with this Two of Cups energy in the middle of the month, this could be really long-lasting. It's just a question of is it what you want or not? Is it something that you, do you want that long-term stability? Because with this person, it's it's kind of it seems as though that's possible, Aquarius. Um, it's just a, it's up to you. It's your choice. Queen of Swords in reverse. I'm actually reading this as you, um, Aquarius. Make sure that this is your choice, whatever's being offered to you, because Queen of Swords is usually very clear about her boundaries, her truth, um, clear, being clear about what's okay and what's not, what is within the realm of, of um, her rules or not. So make sure that you're speaking the truth, Aquarius, about how you feel. For some of you, you may have a partner that wants to get into a long-term commitment, and you don't. So you have to make sure that you are saying what's true. You're speaking your truth. Or some of you have a partner who doesn't want commitment, and you do. I mean, whatever, whatever your situation is, Queen of Swords in reverse means you need to speak your truth. Or this could potentially be another air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that you're not seeing eye to eye with, but I'm actually reading this as you, Aquarius. You need to be really honest, really clear, and direct about what you want. There's some fear that if you speak up or say your mind that you won't get this or you won't get that, it's actually the opposite. You have to get be clear about what you want and find someone who matches what you want as well. And last card is when you do that, happiness ensues. Nine of Cups. Today is actually a Nine of Cups day as I'm recording this. And Nine of Cups means happiness, feeling full, feeling like it's a wish fulfillment card. It means feeling satisfied. Um, you can just see by the happy look on his face, he's well contented. You know, it's someone who has usually just eaten a big feast at a banquet and, you know, has lots of all their wine lined up or all their the things that they're drinking. Um, so this is wish fulfillment, but what I'm seeing, Aquarius, is that it is it hinges. There's all this good stuff around you, but it hinges on you speaking the truth about what is true for you. So be Queen of Swords this month. Say it. First envision what it is you want to draw to you. And then, even if you go through some sort of loss, especially with an earth sign, you have all this beautiful partnership, satisfaction, long-term long-term um, success, all these cards are about, you know, enjoying what it is that you love and enjoying the people or the person that you love in a really satisfying way. But again, hinges on you being truthful, you know, not, not, not having misperceptions or even lying to yourself. That's going to be important. All this good stuff can come in, but you need to you need to be really clear with yourself about what you're drawing in. So let me pull an overall energy card from the Vision Quest deck for you, Aquarius. Please give me one card for Aquarius for September 2018. 
Yeah, four of earth, security. It's funny how this card really parallels what's going on here. This is about the home and security. So I think security may be a big word for you this month. Um, is this is this relationship secure? Do you feel secure? Do you feel financially secure? Do you feel emotionally secure? Both of these are the earth sign and symbol. So it may have to do with being secure financially um, and making choices that keep you financially secure. But I'm actually liking security for you this month. It feels really solid. It feels really um, like that's what your choices are leading to. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to also pull a romance card for you, Aquarius. Please give me one card for September for Aquarius. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So if you're involved with someone here that shows up in the middle of the month, or you're deepening your connection here in the middle of the month, somehow you may have known this person before. And that's why you have an advantage when it comes to recreating something that is stable and secure. It might have just been like love at first sight. It might be like, you know what, I knew we were going to get married the day I met you, or I knew that we were going to have a long-term relationship. So there's some really good stuff here, um, but you might have you might have known this person previously. So that is my reading for you. Aquarius for September. I hope you really enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up or share it with another Aquarius or on social media. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll have a, a link up above in that upper right hand corner. Um, you can always go to readingsbygwendolyn.com to book that. And as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Yours and the stars.